Hey guys, I'm back to film my April favorites for you guys. I have some hair care, a few makeup items, and some fragrances. So it's going to really be fun, so let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright guys, you already know the drill. Please give me a like, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel if you are new here. Um, yeah, if you are a returning subscriber, I just want to say, as always, how much I appreciate you. You guys are amazing. Let's get into this favorites video. Alright guys, so I think I will start with hair care. So in my recent Sephora haul, I talked about the Moroccan Oil Perfect Defense uh, Protect. So this is a thermal protection spray, so heat protectant spray. I really love this because this is a weightless formula, so it doesn't add a bunch of weight to my hair which is really really great especially with me cutting my hair uh, I'm now really concerned about keeping the body in my hair because um, with how short this hair is I don't like when it looks really flat or anything like that so I really love this and also with my hair being this short I for some reason feel like I have to do it more often it gets a little bit greasier uh, faster maybe because it's shorter the oil travels down faster I don't know or maybe I notice it more that it's shorter but I noticed that instead of every two weeks, I have to definitely wash my hair every week or so. And also I'm getting back into working out. So this is really great because I will be having to wash my hair and straighten it instead of every two weeks, once a week. So this is a great you know, heat protectant spray to keep my hair healthy and thick and not, you know, and shiny um, and not have it break off so I've really been liking this the smell is amazing it has that classic Moroccan oil smell so yeah this is definitely uh, my first favorite the next favorite I have here is actually the dry bar liquid glass so what this is is actually a smoothing sort of product and you're supposed to um, put it into your hair your wet hair before you blow dry your hair um, this is supposed to almost like seal your cuticle make your hair shiny and glass like that's why it's called liquid glass to make your hair really like super smooth looking I really like this again because it is weightless with my hair being shorter again I want it to have volume have body so I like to use this and you're not supposed to use any other products when you use this so I really like this because I can cut down on the amount of products that I use I will maybe use a little bit of a leave-in conditioner sometimes I'll spray this on my wet hair or damp hair and then I will blow dry my hair and then I will go on to using my Moroccan oil heat protectant and that's basically it and throughout the week maybe I'll use a few styling products but I really like this because you can really cut down on the amount of products that you use this is supposed to last for three washes Washes. I do it every time I wash my hair. If you wash your hair more often, um, you have a thinner hair texture or you wash your hair more often throughout the week, you could probably uh, skip using this and maybe use it once a week, once every two weeks. I like to use it every time I wash my hair because I only wash my hair about once a week, once every week and a half. So I really have been loving this product again because it is weightless. It doesn't add a ton of like greasiness or leave a film on my hair which I really really like and this was actually given to me so I would have never looked into this product and that's sometimes how you find your best products you get a sample or you are gifted something um, and then you find a holy grail hair products so I really do like this a lot um, if you're a person who wears your hair straight then I think you would like this it um, it's not very moisturizing at all, but it really does um, have your hair remain like fluffy and bouncy, but really shiny. The next product I have here is the Daily Elixir by Santa Naturals. This is a nutritive hair and scalp oil. I got this and I also got the anti-breakage oil. I actually really like to use this on wash days. So I will use this almost as, as a pre-shampoo treatment. So I'll take it. I love that it has a little nozzle here. I'll go into uh, sections on my scalp, I'll massage my scalp, um, and then I'll put this to the end length of my hair, leave it in for about, you know, 10, 30 minutes, you know, however much time I have, and then I'll go in the shower and do a nice clarifying wash, and then my hair is not stripped, but I got, I get body, um, my hair feels shiny, healthy, and yeah, I really like this scalp oil and hair oil, um, I feel like it really keeps my scalp healthy and not dry, um, so yeah, I love this Daily Elixir. It's very affordable as well, which I love. You can find this at Nordstrom. This is the line that is co-created by Issa Rae. 
I have this, I have the anti-breakage oil, and I have the deep conditioner. The deep conditioner is also amazing, but I've been using this so much lately that I wanted to mention it in my favorites. Alright guys, I have a couple makeup products that I wanted to mention. I rarely have makeup, I feel like I rarely have makeup favorites lately, um, but I got the Fenty Beauty Cream Blush in my Sephora VIB haul, and I love this stuff. I have it on today, and you know, looking at the color, you would think, oh my gosh, that's so bright, but when you put it on, it's just this really pretty glowy, healthy pink color, and I think this will definitely actually work for me more as an everyday blush. Um, I thought I would probably be using this more for when I want a pop of color, but I think because of my skin tone and the other products that I wear, this actually turns out to be a really pretty glowy pink blush. Not so much of a pop of color, which I actually really like. So I've been loving this. I love the texture. I really like this a lot. This is really really pretty I can't wait to wear it more with like minimal makeup and you know throw it across the nose and across the cheeks so yeah loving this uh, Fenty Beauty cream blush and the color that I have is crush on keep it number four the last makeup item I want to talk about is the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush uh, flawless finish powder this is a setting or uh, finishing powder I really really love this I've been using it more recently um, because it is getting warmer and my skin is turning more from a combination skin more back to the oily skin type that I normally have so this is really great to finish off my skin and give me more of that airbrush look that I like and take away some of the shine because I do use a lot of products that have a good glow to them but this is just it gives me the right amount of of glow so when I use this I get like a perfected airbrush look it doesn't take away the glow completely from my skin but it get, gets rid of like that oily look that is not cute so I really like this because it doesn't add any weight to the face it doesn't make you look cakey chalky I have the new shade 3 tan I used to wear number two medium um, but I got the new shade which I love because it's a little bit warmer than the number two it's very thin so it's not going to add a ton of color or anything but the number three is just a little warmer than the number two so I just really love how it makes the skin literally look perfected. It looks great in photos. It looks great in real life. There is a reason why this is like one of the number of finishing number one finishing powders because this is the powder for people who hate powder. It's not chalky. It's not heavy. It's not drying. If you have a drier skin type, definitely try this powder. If, if no other powders have worked for you, if you have a drier skin type, try this powder. It's expensive. It's an investment. It's a luxury product, but well worth it. Um, I love this product. I have one more makeup product, but it is actually not a favorite. It is a fail, unfortunately, and it is the, you know, Makeup by Mario Master Mattes palette. I was so excited. This is probably one of the main things that I had on my list for the Sephora sale, and it was $48, but the mattes in here are, they're not quite, like, chalky. They're a little chalky, but they're not... The problem is not that they're chalky, it's that they're blotchy, they're not creamy, they're not smooth, they're a little bit dry. And I really, I, I talked in my haul video about how I really don't buy a ton of eyeshadows because I'm super spoiled by the Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadows because they're creamy, they're smooth. Even her matte shadows, they're so creamy and buttery and easy to blend and pigmented that I don't really stray far when it comes to eyeshadows um i stick to my charlotte tilbury eyeshadows because i love them so much um but i wanted to venture out and buy this because i love matte eyeshadows a lot of the time a lot of the times especially when i am doing my everyday makeup i will go for a matte palette and i thought this would be perfect because it has a black it has dark browns it has some medium tones um and as warm as this palette looks on my skin tone when I'm applying it, it doesn't come off this warm. It actually comes off pretty neutral, which is unfortunate. I thought it would be much warmer and richer, but on me, it's just, it's not the best. And um, I'm going to keep it because it does have a black and a dark brown that I can use for liner and smudging, but I wouldn't use this palette on its own to create a look. I tried so many times and I wasn't, you know, completely happy with my eyeshadow look. And I think I will stick to my Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadows, but I will definitely try to incorporate this because it has those deeper shades and when I want to do like a smoked out liner or something. But yeah, it's not my favorite. It definitely was a fail for me. I don't know if you guys have this palette and love it. It just didn't work out for me. Alright guys, we're going to get into the 
fragrances. I'm really surprised that I don't have any skincare favorites. I'm pretty much using my same routine, so I really didn't have any new, new things to share with you. I am using a few new products, but they're too new for me to share. So I will probably have some skincare favorites in next month's favorite videos, favorites video. But let's go ahead and get into some fragrances. You guys know that I'm so obsessed with fragrances right now. Um, I have really gone onto a fragrance buying binge because I've discovered the world of fragrance in YouTube. There are so many awesome fragrance YouTubers and I will put their, um, some of their channels down below in my description for you to check them out. And I really got into fragrances, so I just want to share some of my favorites. The first being this Brazilian Crush Body Fragrance Mist um, by the Sol de Janeiro brand. I love this. This is just a body mist, so, you know, it comes like in this huge old bottle because it's a body mist that's light. It's meant to really be sprayed all over the body. I love this to put on after I use my... Um, Soap and Glory Body Smoothie. I like to use this on top to go to bed and I smell like a complete delicious snack. <laughs> it smells amazing. It's not too powerful where, you know, my husband will be like, what the heck? Why are you wearing a ton of fragrance to bed? It just makes you smell sweet and it's really, really nice. I really like this. I can't wait for warmer weather where I can wear this outside. This is also great to wear maybe wear on vacation. It just has that really nice, like sweet, um, coconutty, pistachio sort of smell um so if you like uh smells that are almost like edible you'll really really like this um i love this right now to like wear to bed and i again i can't wait for like warmer weather to wear this outside when i want to wear something like sweet and warm really really pretty speaking of like warm and sweet this is ellis brooklyn salt that i hauled in my sephora uh, vip haul and i need to get the full size of this i love this fragrance it is amazing there's something about this fragrance Ugh. wait i have to pull up the notes okay so the top notes are ylang ylang violet leaves the middle notes are the magnolia and the uh i don't know if it's tiari or tier flower um and then the base notes are ambergris musk and sandalwood i'm definitely getting that sandalwood a little bit of the musk definitely the magnolia it's just so it smells so good um i definitely need to get the full size of this it actually pairs really well with the brazilian crush because it's almost like a little bit creamy but it's also yeah it smells salty it smells like the beach and i really really love this i don't know for some reason this reminds me i grew up in new york city and this reminds me of like coney island oh i love this so so much this would be a beautiful fragrance to wear at the in the nighttime um in the summer because it is a little bit of a heavier fragrance it's not you know fresh and light it, is, it does have some freshness to it but it is sharp and it's like sharp and creamy they don't really go together but it is and that's how you know salty things are it's like it's deep but that like that salt is like sharp if that makes sense i don't know if i'm making any sense but this smells amazing and i need the full size because this will definitely be a summer nighttime fragrance for me and best you believe i will be outside this summer um i will be at all the dinners and all the things and i cannot wait um as things open up more to go on date nights with my husband and stuff so i'm super excited and this will definitely be my fragrance most of the time this summer the next little travel size fragrance i want to share is one of my favorites all-time favorites and is the clean reserve warm cotton and i'm mentioning the mentioning this because i'm talking about you know fragrance youtubers that i've discovered and loved and a lot of fragrance youtubers actually use their fragrances as to put onto their bed before they go to sleep and i never really thought about that you know to like create a uh, it's almost like self-care to create this you know environment to go into and go into sleep so i've been using this warm cotton just as a light spray on my bed and it smells amazing this again like i said smells like fresh fabric softener laundry and i love that smell 
so this I've been using lightly especially even on cleaning days you know when I'm deep cleaning I'll just spray a little bit on the carpet a little bit on the bed and it just gives this beautiful clean fresh smell so I wanted to mention that because I've been using this lately to use as a bed spray I also wanted to mention the Killian princess fragrance this is amazing this is sweet and sexy and feminine but not juvenile not too young i really love this fragrance i got the travel size during the sale and had to go back a few days later to get the uh, bigger size because it just smells amazing so i went and got the one ounce size because i already have the travel size um so and i have so many fragrances now that i doubt that i would be able to go to go to the really big one but the one ounce is only $75 and I love this. I don't particularly love this packaging because it's a little, I don't know, it's just not me. I like a more minimal packaging, a little bit more of a sophisticated packaging, but the juice inside of this, the fragrance, oh, it's amazing. Last but not least, how could I not mention my one of my newest fragrances to my collection but it's one of my unicorns so it's one of my fragrances that are like really high end up there that i want to check off and collect but they're going to take a little bit longer for me to get to so um i want to talk about the mason francis kirkajun baccarat rouge 540 eau de perfume this is amazing so i finally got this into my collection last month and this is just there's a reason why this has a cult following and just like the perfumes de marley delina exclusive it was one of those fragrances that i had on my list but i just could not quite part with the money to get because they are very expensive uh this little small size is 300 dollars the perfumes de marley delina exclusive i think is three is it 345 I think it's 345 if I'm not mistaken so those were investments but well worth it because this smells amazing and Baccarat in my opinion layers well with a lot of different fragrances so I've been having so much fun finding new fragrance combinations and cocktails um, but this is just amazing it's it's definitely a sweet fragrance uh, but it is it's just amazing and when you wear baccarat so many people are like what are you wearing it's one of those fragrances where you will get stopped trust me same thing with delena you will get stopped people are like what are you wearing they will hunt you down they will say write it down for me uh, but yeah this is amazing and definitely want to include it because this was one of my like i said my unicorns and i finally got it so i'm so excited Actually, I want to include one more favorite. Recently, I have been burning candles. It's just been a part of my like self-care kind of or just a part of like unwinding when I get home. Um, I've really been liking candles. If you know me in real life and I've mentioned on here, I'm definitely afraid of like open flames and fires and things like that. So burning candles have, has been a real, real hurdle for me. Um, and a lot of people said, well, why don't you just like, you know, get the waxes and warm the waxes and everything like that. But I really wanted to kind of get over that fear and burn candles. There's something about it, something about even the flame um and so i've finally been able to get over my fear of candles and open flames and i've been burning recently the boy smells lanai which is it smells so amazing so the lanai fragrance is coconut pink peppercorn orange blossom uh, cloves it's just so so beautiful rose it's a very creamy floral scent and it smells amazing and the boy, boy smells candles are not crazy expensive they're about 30 to 35 dollars so um definitely worth it and i love the packaging it has a beautiful minimal sort of packaging i love the little pink label on it and i am really excited to add to my candle collection there are a few candles that i have on my list that i want definitely uh want to explore the world of candles more here so yeah i've been loving the boy smells candle that i have here it smells amazing and just it burning has been really adding to my self-care uh regimen so yeah
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give me a like, to subscribe, leave a comment down below. What have been your favorites for the month of April? What have you been absolutely in love with? Let me know in a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new here and you want to see new videos. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you again so much for watching. Bye guys.